unnecessary vlog. My hair is in the hat today because she cannot, she cannot get her life together. Um, not today she can't. She is a mess. So I'm like, okay, well you're in timeout. You've got to, you've got to go under the hat then. Um, but I needed to make this video today because I'm so excited. I got my Victoria's Secret package in today. It's a bunch of stuff I've been meaning to get for a while and I finally got it. And, ah, I'm so excited. Um, I had some sample, or not samples. I had some like roller balls of stuff and I wanted to get like full bottle sizes and some different lotions and things. And, um, and I also went on Sephora because they had their big sale going on. It was like 20% off. And then also I had like a $50 credit and I was like snatching perfumes up right and left. And I can't wait for those to come in. But until then, this package will satisfy. <laughs> um, my bank account, you guys, my bank account is like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and I'm just like, YOLO bank account, YOLO. Of course, everything is individually boxed. You know, it's got to be in the wrapper. Do you, do you get that from Amazon? Like sometimes I will get something in from Amazon and it's in, a, in its original box, but then it's wrapped in another box, but then they wrap another box around that. And it's like, it's like, really? But anyway, okay, let's get this. This one is the only one not in a box, so we'll open that first. And this is the Bombshell Intense Lotion. Um, I feel like when you have a lotion of the Victoria's Secret spray or like uh, perfumes, it just, not only does it intensify it, but I feel like it makes it last even longer. And... To the first one here. Okay, now here is the very sexy night. It's all dusty. I got the very sexy night lotion as well. Why does this feel like, well, oh my God, I just broke it. Oh, wait, okay, there we go, there we go. It just needed to be like clipped in. Okay, there we go. Very sexy night. one should be that yes 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 and then we've got an oldie but a goodie the original very sexy oh my god you guys yeah let me clip this one in like I clipped it oh there we go there we go um this I love this one I love this one so much but we'll we'll talk about more more of that once I get these unboxed here the power ugh, of the perfume gods okay, there we go bombshell intense I, I I think the intense is far superior to the original bombshell oh no you guys it came broken a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. I wonder if I can fix it. Because I, I do not want to. I'm not one that likes to take things back and get exchange it for different ones. And maybe if I can. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. Yeah, there's no way I'm taking, I'm taking something back. Because, I mean, like, unless the bottle is literally cracked, you know, in half and there's liquid seeping out because I just don't have time for that. I just don't have time for that. Um, but yeah, so Bombshell Intense, there she is. She's so beautiful. And then we've got the Very Sexy Night. I like to keep these, bo these boxes that the Very Sexy line comes in. As you can see, I've got two of the boxes down there. Very sexy C 
and very sexy and then the very sexy night the, these boxes are just so they're really good for decorating <laughs> yeah look at like look at this it's like velvet it's got the gold slide on the side like it just it, it's just really nice and then this one this one is so i, I love the asmr on these boxes <sighs> textures and and then this one's got like a snake skin type of oh i like that so yeah so it looks like the other two that i had here a very sexy C, and then the original, like I said. And so it looks like the other one is just in a black bottle. The very sexy C, I usually, I, I, you know, obviously that's more of like a summery one, and I'll usually use it with um, one of my Juliet has a gun perfumes. They, they like they just mesh well together as like a summer freshy. Um, but this one has like the bergamot and the. Um, neroli, or maybe it's orange blossom, I'm not sure. I think it's neroli, and then, and then like some cedar or something. I can't remember. Um, now the original, this one just screams Valentine's Day. And not because it's in the red and black package. It just, it's like, you can use it year round, obviously, but um, as like a date night scent. But this smells like red hots. It smells like candied, you know, like the can candy red hots, like that sticking your nose in a fresh bag of those candied red hots. That's exactly how it smells. It's got like clementine and um, it's got um, blackberries and like a pink pepper for that spice. And it just, oh, it's so sweet and sweet, spicy. It just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I'm glad I got the lotion to go with this because you pair these up and you're like you are invincible you're unstoppable unstoppable and then with the very sexy night this one has i believe it's plum yeah plum um apple plum green apple and um like woods and this oh, smells like you can actually like you smell this juicy dark black plum but then it's got this freshness and crispness of that green granny smith apple and then like the woods are just kind of in the background playing around you know they're being chill in the background amazing amazing so i had to get a full bottle of it you know and this one i believe this is going to pair really nicely with what i just got um I have the, where are you, where are you, um, there we go, there we go, okay, <clears throat> I have a full bottle of this coming in from fragrancenet.com, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense, it also has similar notes, and I'm thinking together, these could be like a powerhouse, but I still have to do some testing on it. I've been trying to do like ways, different ways to organize my perfumes. And some of the ones that I usually gravitate towards will be up here. But like, I like to keep, like I'm trying to do like themed shelving. And like, this is supposed to be like the, the candy, really sweet, um, edible type of perfumes. And then these are my like summer, like cause the, the coconut and the pineapple back, like it's supposed to be more of a summery, perfumes and these are more my fall and winter perfumes um i need to do a better job at like decorating it out but but this is just a, a rough draft of what i'm trying to accomplish here um and then these are this is the victoria's secret section and you notice i've got like the little white feathers because it's you know like the victoria's secret angels and stuff and and please for the love of god can they bring back the real victoria's secret angels we all know that their bodies are unobtainable. That's the point. They're not real. They're angels, you know? And I like to watch them in all of their glory, strutting down the runway in those fancy outfits. And I'm like, oh my God, this is, it's like, it's amazing to watch. But now it's become, I don't know, it's just become trash. I don't know. But in my opinion, 
I know this might make some people mad, but in my opinion, I don't want real girls. Like, do I have stretch marks? Yes. Am I a size two? No. But do I want to see somebody my size with stretch marks modeling a Victoria's Secret bra and panties that I might want to purchase? No, I don't want to see that because that, that to me, I look at that and I think, wow, that's how I would look in it? No, never mind. You know, like I, I want to see somebody unobtainable, like somebody that's not even real, some photoshopped um, princess wearing that bra and panties. And then I see her and I'm like, oh my God, she's stunning. I need this pair of bra and panties. You know, it, like that's just how, that's just how my mind works. Like I, if I see somebody pretty modeling in, then I'm like, yes, I want to buy it. But if you see somebody that's maybe not as attractive modeling in, why would you, like, I don't see how that would make me want to buy it and feel like I need it. You know, okay, I'll get off my soapbox, but that's just, you know, that's just my opinion. Although I will say, I think that they made this particular Victoria's Secret um, runway thing an absolute train wreck. It was bad. It was real, like worse than it's ever been. I think they did it on purpose. They purposely sabotaged it. Sabotage. What? What are you saying? Did you say sandwich? No, I was saying that before. Not now. Now I am saying, sabotage. The ancient Dutch art of screwing up your own team. So that people will start actually saying like, hey, bring back the angels. We want the angels. And then they'll do that being like, okay, we'll listen to you. You know, I think they're playing mind games with us. They are. So with the Victoria's Secret bombshell intense, this has um, cherry cherry peony and vanilla and this is this cherry is bright and she is a like a crisp bright sweet red cherry oh my god i mean this is sexy Woo. Mm. i mean i would want to make love to myself like this is a sexy perfume can we not? No, yes, we have to. The only one of my Victoria's Secret perfumes that I would not consider sexy is the very sexy C. There's nothing really sexy about bergamot and woods. Like that's pretty generic in every perfume, but but it just, I, I have it because it goes really well with one of my other perfumes that I have uh, for a summertime scent, but it, I would not consider that to be sexy whatsoever. But the original sexy, <clears throat> very sexy, is very, very sexy. And then the Sexy Night is also another just so sultry. She's sultry. She's dark. She's naughty. Like, mm. Yeah, and this one is also just so naughty. She's a kinky girl. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, I need to, I just need more. I need more. <laughs> And I feel like the very sexy, the original very sexy lotion smells even more intense than the actual perfume itself does. Oh, she's so spicy. Oh, you're a spicy girl. Fuck, I love perfumes. Oh. In my perfume journey, so to say, I've been no, like, so there's like niche brands that are like hella expensive. And then you got like your designer brands. And then you've also got um, like your cheaper brands or like your Victoria, like Victoria's Secret, I don't even think is considered a designer brand. I think it's like a more low end brand. But honestly, I feel like they deserve some respect as far as perfumery goes. I feel like there's some perfume snobs out there. Um, you know, not everyone, of course, but some perfume snobs that are very much like, oh no, like it's it's not complex enough, you know, or something, you know, just, 
and, and that's fine if it's for you. Like if, if you prefer a more complex perfume or if it, you know, if you like the scent of something particular, but if you're, if you're trying to smell a certain way to catch a man's attention, it doesn't require like $300 and like the smell of concrete and dill pickles. Like it just, like it just something very, like usually cheaper perfumes and which I would consider Victoria's Secret to be a cheaper perfume. They're not as cheap as like um, Fantasy by Britney Spears, but they're, I mean, they're, they're on the cheaper end. And like a cheaper perfume with just a couple notes in it, I feel like as women, sometimes we complicate things more than what they need to be complicated. <laughs> Men are very easy to please. They're very simple to please. Uh, they don't require much. Uh, just, you know, and I feel like Victoria's Secret perfumes can do that. Like you don't have to buy like a $300 perfume with a bunch of different notes in it. And why do they call them, what do they call those perfumes, man eaters? Because like, I want my man eating me. You know what I'm saying, ladies? Oh, this is disgusting. Do you realize what you're saying? So I feel like, you know, if you want to, you know, wear a $300 perfume, that that's fine. That's fine. You do you, boo. But if you're wearing it just to get a man's attention, you don't need to go through all that trouble. <laughs> um... So I think, I don't know exactly how I'm going to rearrange these. I don't know. Because I've, I've only got one of those, but I've got three of these. So if I put that in the middle, then, then there'd be an odd number on one side or the other. That bothers me. So I'm going to have to figure something out with this. Or, or buy another very sexy perfume. Um, no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 So that is everything I got from Victoria's Secret today. Um, that's probably all I plan on getting from Victoria's Secret until at least the end of the year. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all found this video entertaining, and I will see you later.